Hello students, welcome back. This is class 6th science. Chapter number 11. Light, shadow and reflection. It's our lecture number 4. In our previous video lectures, we have covered two topics, light and shadow. In this video lecture, we will be covering the topics under the heading Reflection. Starting with Number 1. What is Reflection? Number 2. Conditions on which Reflection of Light depends? We have two categorization of reflection. They are regular reflection and irregular reflection and we will also look at few differences between shadow and image. Let's start with knowing what is reflection. A phenomenon in which light bounces off an object is called reflection of light. When light falls on a surface, all or part of it is bounces back from the surface. The phenomenon of reflecting back or bouncing back is termed as reflection. Now, let us learn few conditions on which reflection of light depends. The reflection of light depends on the nature of surface. It may be a smooth surface, also called regular surface, or a rough surface, also called as irregular surface. We come across two terms, regular surface and irregular surface. Now let us try to understand about each of them. First one, regular surface. When a parallel beam of light falls on a regular, like smooth and polished surface, like a plane mirror, the whole light falling on it is reflected. Such a reflection is called regular reflection. Through this diagram, let us try to understand the main principle behind regular reflection. First of all, you all can see the surface is smooth. We can also call it regular surface. For an instance, let it be the surface of a plane mirror. You can see some of the lines which are falling on the surface. They are drawn blue in color. These rays are known as the incident rays. In common language, we can denote them as incoming rays. When incident rays falls on the surface, after striking or after hitting the surface, they are reflected in same direction. The reflected rays are denoted with red color and you can clearly note that the arrow head is depicting the direction of the incident as well as reflected rays. As the definition of regular reflection says, the incident rays 
are reflected in same direction. We can easily deduce that this diagram is representing the phenomenon of regular reflection. After learning about regular reflection, let's have a look at irregular reflection. When a parallel beam of light falls on an irregular, that is rough surface, like a wall or a piece of wood, the beam of light gets reflected in all directions. Such a reflection is called irregular reflection. Let us now look at the diagrammatic representation of irregular reflection. Once again, first of all, let's have a look at the irregular surface. We can see the top of the surface is not smooth or polished. For instance, let us take or assume the surface to be a wall. The incident rays which are drawn blue in color are pointing towards the surface. After striking or hitting the surface, these rays are getting reflected into different different directions. Yet, they all are pointing away from the surface but are not arranged parallel to each other as the incident rays. As of now, we have some idea about the term image and shadow. Now, let us look at few differences between both of them. Image Image is formed when a light is reflected from a mirror or a shining surface. Whereas, shadow is formed when a path of light is obstructed by an opaque object or body. Point number two, image give all the details of the object such as size, shape and color whereas shadow give no detail of the object it only shows the outline of the body point number three image shows the exact details of the color as the object. However, shadow is always black in color. Last point, image shows lateral inversion, whereas shadow does not show lateral inversion. While learning about the differences between image and shadow, we come across a term lateral inversion. Students, lateral inversion is a phenomenon in which left appears to be right and vice versa. Let's try and understand lateral inversion with the help of the diagram. We have learned that image shows lateral inversion. Take an example. A boy is standing in front of a plane mirror. In this diagram, he has raised his right hand. However, in the image, we all can see 
the left hand is raised. This phenomenon where right appears left or left appears to be right is termed as lateral inversion. You can try this lateral inversion by looking yourself into a mirror and doing all these activities with your body and checking the image which is reflecting on the mirror. How does it behave? I come across this interesting question which I thought you all should know. Why the letter ambulance written differently? You all must have seen ambulance and the letter ambulance is written very differently from the usual letters that we come across in our daily life. Have you ever wondered why is it so? Let's try to find it out. The word ambulance is written as a mirror image so that the driver in the vehicle going in front of the ambulance could read it correctly from its rear view mirror and he would make way for the ambulance. It will help us to understand the reason more clearly. A vehicle is going in front of the ambulance on a road. The driver has rear view mirrors installed on its vehicle. Rear view mirrors are those mirrors which help the driver to see the vehicle or crowd behind its vehicle. If ambulance is coming just behind the driver of the vehicle, he can read out the letter ambulance correctly by looking at the reflected image into the mirror. Hence, he can get aside and would make way for the ambulance to pass. I hope you have understood the reason why ambulance is written differently. That's all for this video lecture. Let's quickly have a look at the solution of homework based on lecture number 3. Question number 1. A region of total darkness behind an opaque object is called a shadow. Question number 2. The shadow of an object is always Black in color. Question number three. Lunar eclipses only occur during the full moon phase. Option C. Question number four. The eclipse are formed due to the Formation of shadow. Correct option. Option number B. At last, we have arrived to the homework section. These questions are based on the topics we just discussed in lecture number 4. The first set of questions are Fill in the blanks. Question number 1. The vehicle going in front of the ambulance would read it correctly from its dash mirror. Question number 2. 
the phenomenon in which left appears to be right and vice versa is called dash. Now, these questions are of multiple choice. Question number 3. The reflection of light depends on the nature of Option A. Incident rays Option B. Wave Option C. Reflected rays Option D. Surface Question number 4. The phenomenon in which light bounces off an object is called Option A. Reflection of light Option B. Shadow Option C. Ray of light Option D. Lateral inversion Students, that's all for this video. Thank you.